I'm Jill Finley from Jill Lily Studio, and I'm going to show you how to hand stitch your applique now that you've got it basted down with my apple glue. Okay, I use a couple of products that are uh, that I want to share with you. My favorite needles are the Bowen needles, and uh, this is a needle that's made in France. And it's a nice thin shank. It doesn't bend, and it doesn't leave a big hole as you're stitching. And the thread I use is Aurifil thread. Now, Aurifil is made in Italy. It's a long staple Egyptian cotton. This happens to be my collection called Everyday Colors, but it comes in a huge range of colors. So I like to match my thread to my applique piece, not to the background, and that way you'll never see any thread showing. It's really a nice, fine thread, perfect for piecing and applique. Um, my thread collection does come in two sizes, the large spools and the small spools. Another tool I use is this is a product I've developed, and that's what this video is about. This is called a polka dot, and they come in this cute little tin, and they are a little sticky thimble that you stick on the end of your finger um, while you're stitching instead of a thimble. So I'm going to put it right on that place where I get that hole in my finger as I'm stitching. You all know where that is whenever you're sewing on bindings or a little bit of handwork, applique or whatever, you get a little ho hole in your finger from pushing the back of your needle. I'm going to stitch this applique with black thread so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm stitching this little petal down and I'm going to stitch on the edge that's away from me. So I'm holding this applique. I'm, because I'm right-handed, I'm going to stitch from right to left and I'm going to stitch on the edge away from me, not this edge closest to me. So I'm going to hold my, hold my applique block and then just stitch along here and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about it as we go. Um, I've got a polka dot on my finger and I'm going to use that to push the back of my needle as I'm stitching along, and that makes it so I can be very quick. I'm going to go a little slower here so that you can see what I'm doing, um, but that makes it so I don't get poked. Okay, now this is the technique. What I do is, when my thread comes out of the applique piece, it comes out right on the fold. Then I reach my needle underneath the applique piece, about a needle width, reach underneath, put your needle in the background, and then do all your traveling on the back and turn your needle to come back out the fold. Can you see how that needle is pushing back out the fold? And then I'm going to tighten that up. And then reach underneath, turn your needle, come out the fold. That way I've done all of the traveling from stitch to stitch on the back of the piece and all of the stitching is the thread is just going directly in so you don't see the thread. What happens when you reach your needle underneath the piece like this, what it does is it takes that nice crisp uh, flat edge and rolls it down to meet the background. So that gives your piece that nice little puff. Let me take a few more stitches. Another thing about this thread that's nice, um, Aurofil is a two-ply thread so it doesn't tangle as you're stitching. You know how sometimes when you're stitching you get all those tangles? and I've got maybe a little bit too long of a length. If you l use a shorter length, you won't get any tangles. One other thing about this polka dot, it has a little texture on it. It's kind of rubbery, and it's got a texture built into it so that your needle doesn't slide, and it's easy to direct your needle and turn it to come back out that fold. So when I'm stitching along, I can turn my needle, and my needle won't slip and slide. These polka dots can be reattached several times, so when I'm done using it, I'll take it off, and stick it back on the tin or somewhere somewhere slick, a slick surface. And when I'm ready to stitch again, I can just re-stick it. And it will re-stick several times. And when it quits sticking, throw it away and get a new one. It comes with a total of 18 dots in the box. So I, I love the little tin because I can put my thread and needles in there and I've got all my applique stuff ready. Of course, with my pieces glued down with apple glue, I can just take my block with me. It becomes portable.